want to do my best not to turn this into a giant speaking, talking video, but the truth is it's really hard to do because the Purisum summing mixer from Undertone seems simple in itself, but it's capable of doing a ton of complicated things, especially in terms of how you would incorporate it into a larger analog workflow. If that's more of your interest, I'd encourage you to go on the UTA website and look at the video that Eric Valentine did. He's kind of incorporated a Purisum into his setup, his new setup that he's building. I think he's gotten rid of a console completely. He's got it set up and he's got a pretty good video that kind of walks through how he has it set up with all his hardware. I don't want to focus on that at all because that's going through a giant rabbit hole. And honestly, it's going to be different for every single person's setup. Um, you're going to have to do your research and decide how you're going to set everything up if that's your interest. I don't want to talk about any of that. I just want to focus on the potentially cool sonic aspects of this and incorporating preamps into it. Because the Purisum in itself is a completely passive device. It doesn't need power. It has no sound. <laughs> there's, there's nothing to it sonically. It's completely clean. The way you get all the color from the Purisum is by incorporating eight channels of preamps into it. And that's up to you how you do that. You can do eight of the same preamps. You can mix and match. Tons of possibilities. So I kind of just want to focus on the sonic potential of incorporating preamps into that and taking it a step further as our baseline. I want to compare it to my API console because my API box console has 16 channels of clean summing that go into a stereo group like most summing mixers on the market. But it also has eight channels of API preamps on the left side. So I can plug those into the Purisum and kind of do a comparison. So to start out with our baseline, let's start with my API preamps. So how does the Purisum differ from an analog console like my API box or a lot of the summing mixers that are on the market right now? Fortunately, I have a really cool way to kind of get a base idea of those differences. With my API box console, it functions like a lot of the modern console workflows or the APIs. It's got 16 channels of clean summing that feed into the center section, and your center section has your op amps and your transformers in it. So you're essentially getting two channels of you know, your color and just 16 ways to sum into that cleanly. That's how a lot of the rack mount summing mixers on the market work. That's how all the API consoles work unless you get their groups involved. The pure sum is different it kind of redirects all the signal into a group workflow like a lot of larger analog consoles do. And it does that by incorporating eight channels of preamps of your choosing. So with the pure sum, you've got three stereo groups. On this one, it's labeled drums, music, vocals, and then your mix bus. So you've got three stereo buses feeding into a mix bus and they've taken it a step further. Not only do you have those three stereo buses feeding into the mix bus, the first bus, which is labeled drums on here, actually sums in to your music bus, the second one. So group one cascades into group two, and those go to your mix bus. And then the third stereo group, which is labeled vocals on here, that's separate, and that, that goes into your mix bus. So if you look at it, when, once you have eight channels of preamp set in, up on this, channels one and two cascade into channels three and four, and then those go into seven and eight, which is your mix bus. Five and six go into seven and eight separately. And I hope you're following. It's a little complicated, but if you kind of look at their diagrams and the manual online, I think it'll make a lot of sense. But all that to say, uh, just from a technical standpoint, this is probably going to sound a lot different than my API console because, again, with the box, you've got 16 channels of clean summing just going to a stereo group with two transformers and two op amps, and that's your API color. This is a lot different because you have 
preamps with their own transformers and op amps going into more preamps and op amps going into more. So I mean, you see how this is kind of gradually building up. So as a baseline, what I want to do first is I want to do a mix on my API box console like I normally do, where I send 16 channels of summing into the box and then record the output of the console. And I want to compare that to the pure sum by setting up eight channels of API preamps on the console and doing the pure sum routing. So I'm going to do a clean pass of each where we're not pushing either particularly hard. So we're going to do a clean pass on the API box and a clean pass going through the pure sum with APIs to kind of establish a base for all this as we move forward. From the cold separation, your heart breaking, something beautiful will come. I know you don't believe it now, but just wait and see. Oh, I. It's always kind of a toss up on whether or not um, some, of, some of the subtleties in these comparisons are going to come across in YouTube. I, I think they will. I've done a lot of shootouts with my API console and preamps and stuff, so I think they'll come across fine on YouTube. But all that to say, I have high quality uh, 48K 24-bit session files available in a link in the description. If you've got Pro Tools, I've got the Pro Tools session in there where everything's very nicely organized and color-coded and matched. But even if you don't have Pro Tools, just go into the audio folder, pull all those files in. I've level matched everything. I've, I've labeled it well, so you won't have a problem. But I would encourage you to download those files and kind of go back and forth and listen in a full context for yourself over the whole mix. I think it'll be more helpful. So moving forward... That was a clean pass, kind of looking at the differences and kind of a baseline as we're going forward of how just a normal API console or, you know, honestly, most summing mixers on the market would compare to a similar setup with the pure sum and preamps. So we just listened to a clean pass. Now I want to do a harder pass where we're really pushing things into a comparison. So we're going to mix into the API console really hard. Then we're going to mix into the preamps really hard going through the pure sum. And just one more thing to say, I'm not trying to make this so song sound better by passing it through this stuff. I'm not trying to get a quote unquote good sound. I'm kind of doing extremes where you go kind of from clean to push really hard. So in this pushed example, I have pushed things a little bit too hard. I would normally not push a mix this hard through analog gear like this, especially a full mix. But I don't know about everyone else, but the first thing I do when I'm playing with gear like this is I push it really hard. <laughs> so that's kind of, I'm kind of walking through this like I would do if the camera was off. I push the crap out of the mix and see what happens and see how it sounds. So I've pushed it really hard through the console and the pure sum with the preamp. So let's take a listen to that. It's gonna be a Right It's gonna be all Gonna be all right It's gonna be all It's gonna be all right It's gonna be all
So that covers the API kind of side of things sound wise. Again, if we're treating this like an experiment, I think that was kind of our baseline of actually being able to compare an API console with running API preamps through the Purisom and getting an idea of how it differs. Because again, you've got one bus cascading into another bus and then those going into your final mix bus. There's a lot more color involved with setting up eight channels of preamps than there are in a lot of analog consoles like the box and most, again, most of the modern kind of summing mixers from other companies. So that's our baseline. Moving forward, because this is an undertone product, what I was really, really interested to hear was how it would sound incorporating undertone preamps into this. Unfortunately, there are, a, I didn't do the math, but kajillion, if that was a technical term, there are a kajillion different you know, combinations that you can do with the undertone preamps in terms of color. So the, if you haven't seen the video I already did focusing on the undertone preamps just to record some stuff, I'd go take a listen to that really quick. It'll give you kind of a general idea of how the different settings sound on this. But in a nutshell, you've got the ability to take the input transformer in and out of the circuit. You can take the output transformer in and out of the circuit. And on the input transformer, you have two different settings, a high and a low setting. And on top of that, on the out output of this, you've got a load setting that kind of, I think it's a 600 ohm load on the end. So ton of things you can do. So just moving forward, I want to say that any of the settings that I've done on this, unless I specifically say otherwise, it's the same settings on every single channel of the preamp. I think it was important as we look at the you know subtle differences between taking an input and an output transformer in and out of the circuit. I thought it was important to have that same setting on everything so you could kind of hear the difference over all the channels. I, I think it just the differences will stick out more. So again, as a baseline, what I want to start out with is I want to start out with a cleaner setting on the UTA preamps and then compare that to the digital mix. So in order to get a clean setting on this, I've taken the input and the output transformer out of the circuit, and the preamps are sitting at 35 dB, which is pretty much where Undertone recommends as your starting point for any preamp. So let's hear a, my digital mix compared to just a clean pass on the Undertone preamps in the Purisom. Oh, I Okay, so that's our baseline as we start moving into the sound of the undertone preamps going into the Purisom. So now that you've heard completely digital just compared to a clean pass of the undertone preamps, let's hear what the input transformers sound like. So again, on the undertone preamp, when you put the input transformer into the circuit, you have a high setting and a low setting. And so let's hear a clean pass of the mix going through the undertones without the input transformer. We'll engage the input transformer in the high setting and we'll engage it in the low setting as well and go back and forth a few times. It's gonna be right. It's gonna be all, gonna be all right.
That was input transformer in and out of the circuit. Now let's move to the output transformer and taking that in and out. I'm going to leave the input transformer in for our baseline and I'm going to put it in the high setting. We're going to take the output transformer in and out of the circuit and once the input transformer is in, you can engage the load for that 600 ohm load at the very end of the chain. That gives you more color. So we're going to, once the output transformer is in, we're going to take the load in and out as well and hear those combinations a few times. It's gonna be Right. It's gonna be all, gonna be all right. It's gonna be all, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna. Be Let's have some fun and really push things. I've got three really cool setups. The first one is we're going to have the input and the output transformer with the load engaged on the UTA preamps. We're going to push those super hard. Going to do an example of the API preamps, push super hard. Then is the third one, I'm calling it the super console. The first drum bus is going through my API preamps pushed hard. That's cascading into the second and third bus, which are the UTA preamps. And then on the overall mix bus, I've got my two channels of coil audio tube preamp. So we've got API drum bus, UTA music bus, and vocal bus, and those are all summing into a tube console. Crazy. <laughs> Let's hear those pushed really hard. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Gonna be all right. It's gonna be all. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all. Gonna be all right. I think that covers close to everything that most people are going to be curious about. Again, there's just there's so many possibilities with the Purisum that it's just they're endless. <laughs> so um, I, I don't want to make this too long of a video. But again, please download the session files that are in the link description. I covered most of the things that I printed to do this video, but there's probably a couple of extra things that I didn't cover in the session. So check those out. The last thing I want to do is I just want to go through the song front to back and just do a full song montage. What we're going to do is we're going to have three examples. We're going to have the digital clean pass. I'll play that for reference a few times. We've got the API preamps just kind of pushed normally, nothing too crazy. 
And then the UTA preamps um, pushed moderately as well with the input and the output transformer engaged to get full color. So let's just go through the whole song, kind of get the digital bass and then API preamps going through the Pyrosom and the UTA preamps going through the Pyrosom. Gonna be all, gonna be all right 